London scraps, knives down, gloves up, BBC News. Like, comment, favorite, and add to favorite. Welcome to BBC London with me, Alison Earl. It's now nine months since Tion Campbell Pitter was stabbed and killed in South East London. He was just 16 and was one of the capital's youngest victims of knife crime last year. Well, he was a fan of boxing and events have been taking place this weekend to remember him and help draw young people away from knives, as Guy Lynn explains. The message of today was don't get involved with knives, box. It comes as commemoration of the life of Tion, whose mum is supporting this initiative. After the stabbing of her 16-year-old son, a keen boxer, last year in New Cross. My life has literally just turned upside down. You know, Tion also has a younger brother whose life has been turned upside down. You know, I'll never see my son again. You know, never hear him say, Mum, I love you. Yeah. Can I just give you a leaflet? Drop the knife on your life. Organiser Ryan was so moved after hearing about Tion's death that he decided to do something about it. It's important for everyone. I mean, everyone wants to go out on the street and feel safe. Um, young people, old people. The community just wants to be able to walk out and know that they're safe. They're not gonna, there's not a chance of someone stabbing them, not a chance of seeing someone be stabbed. And I think at the moment, with all the stabs that are going on, it's only getting worse, so we need to come together as a community to, to make a difference and be heard. A few days ago, a teenager who killed Tion was found guilty of manslaughter for stabbing him next to the boxing club where Tion was a member last April. This weekend, those here are trying to send out a message to anyone who may see or walk by that constructive activities like boxing, which Tion loves so much at his club, are much better than knives. Guy Lynn, BBC London. The vicar of an historic church in North West.